What's up everybody? This is your band Jay Reese coming to you with another video. And this video is going to be on how to sample with your MPC Renaissance through your computer without using their sound card on the Renaissance. I've seen a couple of videos that use the Mac but none with the PC so I thought I might do a, a video on it. And I'll put a link in the description for the Mac versions but like I said this is the PC version. Let's get started. All right, here we are on the NPC Renaissance page. Uh, wonderful machine, love it. And like I said before, it comes with a lot of features, and most of all, it comes with its own built-in sound card. Um, see, there's a lot of inputs here for you to in get things in. Two combo XLR uh, inputs. Um, you can flip the switch and go line or direct has a 48 volt uh, phantom power if your mic takes phantom power also has an input for your turntable with a ground or you can use it as a line and use RCA's use your uh, line phono switch but like I said what if you didn't want to use this to sample and you just wanted to use the software that's what we're going to learn how to do today alright so uh, let's go ahead and close out of here and let's go to what you want to do is go to virtual audio cable virtual audio cable is the equivalent of the max sound flower to bring samples into the NPC software um, think of it as patch cables virtual patch cables or even virtual RCA cables uh, to bring the sound in so you know this is the latest version and uh, what you want to do is just read the descriptions to get familiar with it but for tutorial purposes we're going to skip all this and we're going to go straight to the meat and potatoes here so let's go down about five bullet points one two three four five and click download and purchase alright on this page um, it gives you two versions to download you can download the free, the free version and it comes in 32 or 64 bit and you click that button right there or you would buy the full version and that version won't be watermarked so we're going to just click this button right here and then this takes you to the purchase page where it shows you all the different platforms all the different windows platforms that it covers which it pretty much covers them all uh, gives you the different settings for your support, your self support, basic support, extended support, whichever one you want to choose. Uh, that's best for you. And it takes all forms of payment Visa, MasterCard, Discover, PayPal. And good thing is, is that, uh, you know, it takes PayPal so you don't have to put in your credit card number. So we're going to assume that you purchased it and you downloaded it and installed it. So let's move on to the actual software. So you want to come in here and open up the control panel for the virtual audio cable. And you only need one set of patch cables. You don't need no more than that. Only thing you're going to change right here is these numbers to match your sound card. Other than that, you don't make any other changes. You you pretty much just leave everything the same and uh, assuming that, that that you know the settings and you already made your settings, click X out of there and now we're going to go to the computer uh, software settings for it inside your computer, inside your Windows computer so you're going to scroll down and there's the output of the virtual audio cables uh, so that set that to default and then you want to scroll up and then whatever your speakers or your monitor is connected to you want to set that to the ready if you look up this is this will be the Akai input but we're talking just about where your speakers or your monitors are connected to. Mine are connected to my Inbox 2 Pro. Let's move on to the record tab. Let's scroll down. And then right here it'll say line one for you, but I changed that. So we're gonna change your I'll change yours too. So instead of line one, let's type in Renaissance. The reason why we want to type this in so when you open up the MPC software, uh, it'll be easy and you're easy to identify it so when you're looking for it. So once you type that in then just click OK. Alright let's go back in probably should have did this first and then go to the listen tab and then make sure to listen to this device is checked 
and um, so then that way we can hear what we're listening to and then whatever your speakers or your monitors are connected to that's what you want to highlight and put in that box my speakers or my monitors are connected to my inbox 2 pro so I'm gonna choose inbox 2 pro you do which whatever is you connected to your speakers or monitors make sure to listen to this device is checked then click OK and then click OK now let's open up the NPC software alright let's shrink this go to edit preferences and you want to make sure that in device type that you choose whatever your computer likes my computer likes Windows audio and my output once again is the inbox 2 pro why because my my monitors or my speakers are connected to that so that's what I'm gonna choose inbox 2 pro because that's what I'm listening to and then in the input there's the other end of the virtual audio cable and it's Mark Renaissance so it's easy for you to see there's no mistakes and um, let's just choose that alright now let's check our sample rate 441 bit rate 512 now all we gotta do is uh, click OK alright so for uh, tutorial purposes <laughs> I'm gonna click the button at the top of the screen let's go over sample edit sample record shrink this move this over alright and let's open this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Kai SoundCloud website and let me shrink this the reason why I'm using going to their uh, to their SoundCloud is because all the samples and sounds on here you could download for free. So I figure I might as well use one of their sounds or samples uh, since it's for free uh, for this tutorial. So let's shrink this, and I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna go to the noise. Now I'm gonna hit the button on the NPC, and now I'm gonna click play. And as you see on the LED to the right, that there's sound coming in, so the sample's being recorded. So I'm going to sample a you know, few bars of this, and then uh, you know, let's listen. shrink this down and let's test it alright let's hit pad 16 and keep it and let's open this up just going to go in the sample edit like I said I could have double clicked on I could have clicked it on the machine on, on my NPC but it was easier this way for the tutorial so I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit and we're just going to make a rough loop like I said this is just for the tutorial sampling in so let's bring up this endpoint and we're going to get it fairly close so that we're going to work our way into the final loop Let's go. Okay. That's about right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this up a little bit. We're going to discard, do it. 
have our loop. And there it is. And that's how you sample uh, on a Windows computer with the MPC Renaissance without using the sample. Alright you guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube. Please follow me on Twitter and please like my Facebook. Alright, you guys have a good day. Peace.